hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our php admin panel so guys in previous video we have seen that how to add the user or admin with his role okay and now guys in this video we are going to fetch the users whatever we have added so let me just show you my database here so on my users table i have two records which we have inserted in previous video and now we are going to fetch this data in our users table okay so guys now let's get started let's go to our editor and yep let's move to our users.php file and here is a table view so guys let's open php and close php and let's write the query directly where we'll tell select star from the table name that is users and then run the above query so result equal to mysql i underscore query function and inside this the database connection first and then your query all set and now guys you need to now guys i just want to keep this two line of code into my function okay function.php file so it will be useful for other modules also okay so let us just control x and go to functions.php and create a function so function the function name will be get all as simple and paste here and for the connection let's tell global and the connection comments and here we need to give the table name dollar table name okay and uh, we need to filter this so when we pass any table name we need to filter so what we'll do we'll tell table name equal to we are using this validate function to validate any data string data okay so we'll use this validate function so this validate function is simple it's just returning the mysql i real escape string so we are using that let's take this and we pass here so this will be the final table so you can copy this and paste here that's it guys okay and then you are going to return dollar result and now you can use this function inside your user.php file dollar users equal to and here table name so my table name is users with this help of variable user you can check masculi number of rows where it is greater than zero then show the data else you can mention like no record i mean yeah no record found so add a tr how many rows so just add a call span well to seven table data oops this call span will be inside the table data not table row here we are going to tell and no record found okay and then guys here once the record is found you are going to use a for each loop for each loop open and close and let's divide that page php here and dollar users as dollar user item okay let me minimize the sidebar so now guys what we have to do let us control x complete table row and paste here so you can get this table user item open php echo and close php of id same then go with the name name email then phone then the role and then is underscore ban so mention these fields here role and ban are missing role and 
ban okay is ban so now save it and now let's check the output guys once refresh awesome so whatever we have stored here we got that so now guys in this is ban we see a different type like 0 and 1 so instead of 0 and 1 we require band or not so here you can add a condition like if it is banned okay if it is ban is true then tell band else active so you can mention this here and refresh so it is both are active now all set so guys we have successfully uh, fetch the data and now guys let us begin with how to edit the data and update the data okay so as simple let us come here add this user edit.php file add a parameter named id and send the parameter by concatenating it you can copy this complete echo with the id here and paste it that's it now you can save and let's refresh okay let's click on edit here you go so user edit.php file with the parameter id1 awesome so now guys you can get back and fetch the data let's go okay let's move to user edit.php file this is my form tag let us give the method to post and when the button is clicked it should go to code.php file okay and all this field should be required name phone email and password role also is required and this is not role this is this is ban do you want to ban or not update user with the submit button so now guys what we have to do um first we need to get the data from the parameter this parameter id we need to check whether it is available or not or the id is given or not or exist or not it is a id integer or not an integer so we need to do all that checking here so for that guys you can just create a simple function like check param id so oops, php open and php close so inside this we send that we are sending id and let us create one function in our function.php file let's go and as simple let's create one function with the name function check parameter and remove it so here we get the data like parameter whatever parameter you get parameter type let's tell param type okay and now you need to check whether the parameter is set or not let's use is set function and how are you going to check the parameter using get method and here you are telling that whatever i give the param type let's tell here okay and add a else part and just return like no id given given okay and again if condition inside this again else part so here we'll mention like no id found okay no id found dollar underscore get method of whatever type id which is not equal to null when it is not empty then return this type whatever data comes in that as simple and now guys once the data is correctly given then you will pass here now you can use this function inside your user edit to check the parameter and uh, let's tell this is param result equal to and user if condition and this parameter should always return a numeric value so what we can do not is underscore numeric function where we'll tell echo h5 tag and concatenate it dollar param result and return 
false from here that's it guys so this will check the parameter data is correctly given or not so you can refresh here so right now it's working fine so if i miss the id then you see no id found here if i give any other id it will come like if you miss the parameter itself only you call user edit no id given okay so you need to give correctly then it will work fine so now guys let's get back our parameter code has been done and now we need to get the single record from our database by using the parameter value that is nothing but your given id so now guys let us tell dollar user is equal to get by id okay function and inside this we pass the table name and the id so the id is nothing but we get this checking id and here the table name is users okay so now guys you need to create one function inside your function.php so why are we creating this function because we are going to use in many places so we only we are creating these functions which will be useful in further creating records okay so here dollar table comma dollar id table name will mention it clearly and now guys let's do global and call the database connection let's filter this table name and id so you can tell dollar table equal to which will be using a validate function to validate the data so this validate function is nothing but the real escape string here okay so just we are validating that any string value and here you pass and same way you are passing the id also and telling the id okay now you have got it so you can write the query dollar query equal to select star from the table name so my table name is here the validated table name dollar table name where id equal to inside single quotes and pass a limit which will be only one and here in the place of id you pass the passed id so you paste that and now let's execute this query result equal to mysql i query function and the database connection first and then guys you are going to use the query as simple and now let us use this result to validate like if the result is true then give the data if it is false then return something let me return as a response equal to inside array where i mention status 500 like something went something went wrong and here we send a message that something went wrong and let's return this response return dollar response all set so now guys once the query is successful we need to check the record so use a mysqli number of rows function where we check it should be only one record not more than one or less than one if it is more than one or less than one it comes in the else condition and again you paste this response format here and tell like 404 and mention no data found or no record found We're done and now guys once the record is found you are going to send the data with the help of mysqli fetch array so dollar row of data that is mysqli fetch array where you will get the result dollar result comma and it should be in a associated format mysqli associate data okay and now guys same way use the response format and push the data let's end the row here and oops add a dollar this will be the 200 status and this is going to be a data not message okay if you want you can just add a message like yeah successful like 
fetched data okay and here mention as a message done guys so now you move to user edit.php in this variable we get a response here user data of what is the data of status okay which is equal to 200 when it is 200 that time only show the data okay else you can just show this information that's it so this dollar user of whatever response it is message let me show you that we are getting this right so from this response message we have in all the three response whatever we get if it is that doesn't satisfy it is going to show in the message so let's put in echo and use a h5 tag h5 to display the message so just use concatenate and paste done so now guys with the help of php open and close let's divide the code here and you can put this complete row complete row inside the php if condition okay okay so now guys what we have to do in this user we got the response and let's print the value here open php echo and here you use the data from that data we get the name column field name okay so this is the variable data we are using and from that array row we are getting that column name called name so this is the name phone email and password ban role so all those things we will display it let's get back and yep guys the so same way let me copy this and paste here for the phone let's tell phone so before pasting everywhere let us just refresh and see whether data comes or not perfect guys so here you see that name and phone number has come for id1 let us go with id2 click edit here you see id2 name and phone has come awesome so same way paste for other input fields let us copy this just paste paste and here also we need to make a selectable let me just copy this data here and paste and then guys data of role so if the role equal to which is admin then make it a, as selectable so let's tell here selected else null so same concept for the below also for the user so here you paste and mention that it's a user and make for the checkout let's paste here and instead of selected let's tell checked checked and here we are not going to see it is admin or user instead we'll be checking that is true or false and what is that column name is nothing but is ban done and now guys let us check the output once so let's get back let's click on edit here perfect so we have got that with phone number email and password so here i see that it's a wrong data has come so what we can do let us come back to the email and make the column as email and for the password and for the password password if you want you can show it else you can keep it null the password okay let me check other fields name phone email password then the role and is ban okay and now guys let's get back again refresh awesome so we have got the data guys and now let us click to update the data so as simple let's get back so guys when we click on update button here is the button name when we submit the button it goes to the form tag so here our form ends let's go to the form start so here is the form start when we click on submit button it goes to code.php so let's move to the code.php and write the update code 
okay so now guys write if condition and check the submit button is clicked or not with the help of is that function so where my button name is update user yes it is if the button is clicked you are inside the if condition so now guys first step you need to get all the inputs validate all the input data okay so as we have seen that in first video for to save the user we have used all the inputs so same input fields are used for edit also okay so what we can do let us completely copy this code and paste for the update okay and now guys in this validate function let us go to the top and here is the function.php let me go to that file and i need to go to validate function so here is my validate function and here you see guys that the input field data are getting filtered and giving the correct value so before this i want to use the trim function to trim the first and last empty data so what we can do let us create one variable that is validated data equal to here you have kept and this data we are going to trim and return it okay now you can get back to the code.php let's move on the update user and now we are checking here whether these columns are empty i mean these inputs are empty or not so if it is not empty it is coming in if it is empty it will go until all fields are mandatory okay so now guys let us get here and here we need to write the update code so let's begin okay so let me write that here you write update the table name and set each column fields so here you can tell my column name is name here and then the value dollar name and give comma and same way we have to continue let me break this so it will be more clear and get to the phone next column dollar phone variable and then email equal to set dollar email variable then the password password equal to inside single code dollar password and then finally uh, is ban equal to where you can tell dollar is underscore ban and then rule equal to dollar rule all set and here you do not require it let's remove this completely and use a where condition guys id equal to close here and dollar what is this actually it's a user id so here you need to pass the user id so let us get the user id from the form guys so dollar user id equal to null right now but we will get the user id so let's get back to the user edit form so before this form only i will copy this input one field and paste here and make this text to hidden and here you mention user id okay and value will be the id and you do not require this class you can remove it all set so we get this id with the help of input box hidden input box and submit with the help of form use a validate function to validate the input field that is your user id so validate that and get and store here and here we see guys we face some error what is there oops i missed the double quotes here okay so here we begin with the double code and the double code and now guys let us continue so guys if you get back here and if you try to mingle with this id here like three no record found but if you inspect and mingle there and submit the form what happens it's not able to sort right so we have to do the validation for that also so you can use that this get by id function which we have created in the previous so where is that function so here we have created that function copy this function and get back to the code.php let's create one user variable first and then use this get by id function so first is my table name users and then the id dollar user id 
and now guys you can tell here dollar user of status if it is double equal to 200 I mean not equal to 200 then redirect back so here we paste it and just get back to the same page which is user edit with the ID so let's paste here so here ID you need to concatenate it dollar user ID okay and tell no such ID found save it that's it guys so our validation for ID also is done from the backend side so the query is correct guys and then executes the query and you need to change the message here user are admin updated successfully if something goes wrong you can tell something went wrong let's save and now guys let us test it refresh so here in Ved, I am going to put full name Ved Prakash and change the phone number let's click on update so here you see user or admin updated successfully and you see that data guys user name is updated and the phone number also is updated you can see perfect so now guys I am going to make this role as admin and ban him update so here you see that user is banned and he is also admin let me unban update okay perfect guys so if you want to re once updated you want to keep on this same page only you can use that same code here for redirecting it let me copy this complete code and paste here okay and now guys once you submit here you have to show the message after the card body let me use that alert function okay let's copy this from another page and paste inside our edit page so now guys let us continue with how to delete the data okay so we have fetched the data edit update the data and now we are going to delete the data as simple let's get back and let's go to user.php file and here is our delete button okay so we go to the user delete.php file on the button click so before button click I want a, a confirm and continue okay confirm and delete the data so for that you can use the on click event so on click event return and use confirm function so confirm function inside that add are you sure you want to delete this data question mark let's save and now guys let us see the output refresh let's click on delete so here is ask for you okay and now cancel it doesn't do anything if you say okay it goes to the user delete.php perfect so now guys let's go to the user delete.php and write the code over for deleting that single record let's move and inside this only we want to pass the id so let us copy this id parameter and send it on the user delete.php file save it guys and now let's go to the user delete.php file so here it is and our code begins here open php and close php so first step we need to require this function because we have written many functions and that which is going to be helpful like redirecting showing messages and all let's use require so just go one step back go to config folder inside that you have a functions.php and now guys you need to check the parameter result like when you click on that you need to get the parameter id let me just show you let me comment this get back refresh let's click on delete and here you see that id equal to 2 so first step we are going to filter that id so we have already written the function how to filter the parameter id okay if you are pa passing any parameter id so we are going to just copy this function and get back 
so here we pass the id okay so this string value id so i am passing this kind of id so it's a validation and now guys the past parameter has the value of numeric or not so let's tell if it is numeric is numeric function that is your parameter result then come in else you can mention redirect function where first page you will redirect to users dot php and pass the message but we have already written the message in this result itself let me copy and paste here so whatever data is there it will pass here so let me explain you that here itself so once the id is not found correctly it is it will tell no id found okay or no id given so now we can get back and now guys once the id is found you can tell my user id equal to user validate function to validate the parameter result i got my user id and now let us check the id exist or not dollar user equal to get by id so i am going to get from the users table and this is my id okay dollar user id if the user of status let me keep inside a if condition if user of status double equal to 200 if it is success then delete the record if it is not success then you have to redirect him back let's copy this paste here and inside this message if you want you can pass by the custom value or else you can find the, the message already inside this user variable okay and here you mention message that's it and now guys let's begin with the delete query so you can tell user delete equal to where you can write the query so instead of writing a query i just want to create a separate function which will be useful for other videos or other crud operations here okay so guys let's tell delete query function and you pass your table name and then the user id so i pass this user id okay once this delete i mean user delete response is successful you can tell deleted successfully else you can mention something went wrong so let me paste here and tell here something went wrong if it is success you can tell user deleted successfully user deleted successfully done guys and now you need to create this function inside your function.php let's go there so let's move at last so create a function the function name is delete query open and close so first let's get the database connection variable with the help of global get the connection done and now let's write the delete query so query equal to delete from dollar table where id equal to the user id that is nothing but any id so it's not specifically it's meant for user id and just add a limit equal to one and let's execute this query so once executed we get a result mysqli query function to get the response like the query is successful or not so if it is true or false you get the value just write on this result and now guys this variable you are getting and use a validate function to validate the data so what are you checking here inside this delete query we pass two variables that is the table name and the id any id okay so let's 
copy this table name and we validate and store in that table so same way with this id also let's get the id id and here also you pass the id done so whatever the response you get you just do that here and tell it okay so now guys let us save and check the output let's move get back refresh so guys i'm going to add one dummy record so just add any dummy records here let's click on save so here we have id3 and now let me delete it okay so you see user deleted successfully refresh so you have no record okay that user id3 is deleted so guys we have successfully learned how to read the data edit update the data and delete the data in php okay so now guys let us continue in next video about the authentication of this admin panel so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share